in case you didn't know joysticks are nearly as varied as the joystick covers themselves joysticks vary in different color shape and size in the movies you watch on the internet you may see that almost all the joysticks happen to look similar in size and shape it makes you think that that is exactly how joystick should be or this is the perfect joystick and some people feel like when their joystick is not in that shape or color or size they feel like they are missing something or theirs is abnormal in real life joysticks vary just like they have us themselves joysticks can be circumcised or uncircumcised the colors might be different some are gettier some are slender some are short some are longer even the hairs and the smell vary so it is not the same thing with what you see on the internet some of them curve to the side while some of them don't curve there are different shapes and sizes and i have a video explaining 21 different types of joystick so you can go check out the video so that you see that there are different sizes different shapes and different colors so you're not supposed to be judging yourself i know that i'm just talking about joystick but our topic for today is hand job you also need to know that joystick have different smells some of them smell etsy some of them smell sour some of them smell musky but Whose joystick smells like apple pie? Nobody. Well, let me give you my two cents. When your joystick smells moldy or rotten, then I'm sure you need to pause this video and go for a medical checkup because something is wrong somewhere. The taste of the joystick can be affected by what someone eats, but it is majorly affected by your personal hygiene. You need to remember that hand job Hand sex also has its risk, just as oral has its risk. Now that we understand the two that we are going to work on, let's talk about how we are going to work on it with our two hands or one hand. At the end of the day, we are working with this. Now we've done a little tutorial on the joystick. Let me tutor you on how to work on it with your hands. But when I want to teach you something regarding knocking, I don't joke with starting slow. Even if you're a pro, slow and steady win the hand job. So you need to start with slow movement, light pressure, slow it stroke. Then as it goes on, you can ramp up the intensity. Another thing you need to look out for when working with your hands is paying attention to their body language. There's something called sexual communication. It is not only when you communicate with your mouth. Body language as well, you can read it. It is a form of communication. Some of them might not voice it out, but they are using their body language to tell you something. There are sometimes we don't even speak, but our facial expression speaks for us. When you're working on them and they are moving their body away or they're moving their joystick away from your hand, it could tell that the person is not enjoying it. They kind of want you to slow down. But when they are making movements according to your hand movement, they are agreeing with what you're doing. They might be moving forward to what you're working with on your hand. They are even pushing further. In a way, they are kind of telling you to keep going with that rhythm or keep going, do not stop. So you read their body language. It will also help you to know how to work on them. It will tell you whether you're being so fast or you need to slow down. This is an important piece of information to take. Be able to read their body language. If you want to feel connected if to your partner, you need to lock eyes with them. It is sexy when you're doing what you're doing correctly and then you're staring them boldly in the eyes i also recommend that you use loop skip the speed i know that speed is way more affordable and is more accessible but it is just speed it is going to dry out the next minute and because you're working with your hands does not mean that you're safe because you may not injure your hand but you might injure the tool you're working on it is most appreciable if you work with lube instead of bending on speed. Lube will make it more lubricated and more moisturized. It is going to last longer and it's going to make the movement easier for you. Hand job doesn't mean you should just work with one hand. You have two hands and you can use your two hands to work on him. 
there are different movements you can make with your hand you can use one hand to be going up and down when you're using this one to play around the balls you can still use your two hands to be going up and down you can use your two hands and you're twisting it in opposite direction and as i've just explained switch things up there are different ways you can spice things up when you're doing hand jobs so you are not supposed to stick to just one maybe add toys but it depends on you not everyone is comfortable with using toy but in doing hand job you can still use toy you can use joystick ring there are tools they use here you can use it to also give yourself pleasure you can use the one they use in the back hole to give either him or yourself pleasure it depends on what you're comfortable in but if you're not comfortable in using toys then skip this step now you need to focus on pleasure and not achieving the big O. When your goal or your mindset is in using your hand or doing the hand job to achieve the big O, then your focus is only just in getting yourself frustrated while you're forcing yourself to achieve the big O and then you forget about getting pleasure. So focus on enjoying yourself, pleasuring yourself and pleasuring the person you're working on first. And someone might ask, okay, what happens next? This hand job you're doing might be the main event, but it could be the genesis of going in and out. You can use it as a warm up to doing the main event. If you're confused on knowing if you should keep going, if they are moaning or they are making sound that will tell you that they are enjoying it, if that means they don't want you to stop so you have to keep going or if you want to satisfy your curiosity you can ask them question am i getting it am i doing it right should i keep going are you enjoying it it depends on how you guys communicate i'm going to list some things that you can do to get your own pleasure there are some people that get maximum pleasure from just playing around their man seeing that what they are doing is pleasuring someone else it gives them joy another way you can get your pleasure is if you're comfortable with toys you can use it while you're pleasuring him he can be using it on you while you're working on him another way you can get your pleasure is dry humping his ties or the mattress another way you can get your pleasure is by asking him to stimulate you as you're working on him his two hands are free his mouth is free he can also work on you as well if you want to be in charge of the entire event you just want him to enjoy himself and not do anything you want to do the whole thing and then when you're working on him you can still work on yourself with your hand with one hand while you're working on him with the other hand another way you can get pleasure is by inviting him to pleasure you when you're done pleasuring him are you confused if you're asking yourself now they're about to come what do i do it is very simple keep going okay they finished now what a little post handy compliments can go a long way in giving extra pleasure and these are the tips and guide to enjoy yourself while giving hand job and tips that will guide you to give a better hand job i hope that you got something out of this video sorry i've been away for a very long time i have some personal issues that i am currently attending to so for now you're gonna be seeing my face like this because i'm actually taking break from makeup to work on my skin as well if you have any questions or anything to say to me at all leave it down below in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed i'm sorry for staying away and i promise you i'm coming back hard this time see you next time bye